Uh, this poem is called The Mask. He walks among us, his color does not matter. He slit her trachea, cut a last smile around her throat. My father walks among the dead, his color did not matter. My mother's blood was red. She slept beside him, knife under his pillow, to remind her she was his, and that roses live with thorns on the same stem. His boy and girl, oh, the belt around her neck, she said, go ahead, I'm dead anyway. He did not have to strangle my spiritless mother. His boy and girl are his now. They will see their mother's dangling head in the inquirer's pictures and hear her voice in 911 tape screaming for help. He walks among us, sleeps with another woman who will want to be his children's new mother. His color does not matter. My father's color did not matter. They had the same smile ear to ear, like the one carved on Nicole's throat. This is about a date that went wrong. <laughs> Into the night. At the Tivoli restaurant, I'm in the bathroom and my beeper whistles. This is in beeper days. <laughs> I'm in the bathroom and my beeper whistles. It's my doctor friend recommending a patient who was in an accident. Holistic ambulance chaser in the guise of Robin Hood, I negotiate from the rich to pay for the suffering poor. My date arrives. His formal dark eyes signaling the maitre d', a seat for the lady in me. I tell him, lady is not the right word for me. I'm a woman. He asks, what's the difference? I repeatedly bite the corn on the cob and suck all the juice like a hungry pilgrim. I cradle the waves of noodles on the spoon and open my mouth, but the noodles drop between my breasts. Reaching inside my bra, I grab them and gently place them next to my plate. <laughs> we discuss the virtues of passion versus contentment. I say I am not flexible, passion or bust. I straighten my back, adjust my boobs, and point at him with my nipples. He says, name another issue you're not flexible on. I say I do not believe in chopping off penises. He details the spiritual reasons for circumcision. I tell him humans do not have the right to slice off one of nature's most delicious lollipops. <laughs> he walked into the night wondering where they put his foreskin after the mutilation. <laughs> my last poem uh, was written after someone complained about my uh, straightforwardness. It happened at the back fence. There was an open mic there once. This poem is called, A Clean Colon is a Sign of a Pure Soul. <laughs> I love it. I finished, my, I finished my feature, and he started the open reading by saying, my poems won't have movement or bodily function. He was offended because I wrote about pubic hair curtains shielding the sea of pink darkness in my vagina. The emptiness of unshared rapture. My orgasm screaming the name of a man who never touched me. He probably got a horn on when I mentioned that the pub must touch his penis when he masturbates. In the middle of the circle, I face my dancers, each a poem of flesh, swaying arms, shadow boxing to the blows of unrelenting percussion. He got upset when my dancers and I moved the earth. He doesn't know a poem can ride like joyful snakes, circling forever around the magician's hips as he brings God to earth. I did not mention bodily functions, but if I did, I would tell him to take a good crap and clear his colon of societal shit. I will howl and belly dance my poems, hump and ride my lover above and below him as a love poem, sail against the wind with words, be the messengers of unknown and unmentioned poems, for the virgin will finally touch her clit and yell, Mother and Father, this is my bell and I will ring it. This is my voice and I will fire it. This is my explosion, and I will share it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>